uh, afternoon my uh, good people uh, it is really good afternoon today is not morning I know you are used to me saying hello how are you good morning uh, today is, uh, is an afternoon so and uh, we are almost closing uh, we close at uh, 3 o'clock but uh, there's something that uh, I promised that I really want to show you on grinders so I wanted to take this clip uh, so that uh, I can uh, able to elaborate for you when we kick on uh, our our lesson tomorrow about the grinders on how to calibrate a grinder on how to get our our grinds and also on how to get a consistent dose uh, when we are doing our uh, our coffees because sometimes we have seen in my tutorials uh, I have to uh, extract the coffee I have to put on a scale uh, on so on and so, so on and so forth but now on these operations we don't want a scenario where by now you pull on your, sh your shot from the grinder you measure you see so I'll show you exactly how to have a constant uh, dosage throughout your shift and some of the factors that you need to consider when you're having this so but in the meantime I want to show you something then tomorrow we'll pick it up from there uh, sharp uh, right now I want to uh, empty my uh, my bean from this because the bean cannot actually uh, overstay uh, right here because uh, we try to minimize uh, much of the oxidation they need to go back actually in the bag and able to be put uh, on, a, on a airtight uh, to prevent the oxidation so as you can still see I'm removing my coffee beans but the time still uh, it is three seconds 3.60 seconds and I repeat it was giving me a dose through long it was giving me a dose of 20 grams so um, I'm removing my coffee beans uh, from here and I'll remove everything from inside I'll pick them nicely pick them nicely then tomorrow if you come in the morning let's try and check now uh, when I'll be putting on the, the, the grinder if the time has changed if the time has changed now what are you supposed to do please uh, be keen on your Uh, where uh, I stay. So, uh, as we promised uh, yesterday, today is uh, how to calibrate uh, a grinder. So, remember that the thing that I told you, you're going to do first thing in the morning. So, I'm off. Um, I want to show you this one uh, today. How we are going to do it uh, for us today gonna see how to get a good nice fine grinds how to have a consistent in terms of uh, uh, those throughout our our sheets without measuring here and there so ciao let me see you at the restaurant thank you morning uh, my people have uh, just arrived uh, so uh, as you can see my machine not yet even on my grinder not yet even on uh, what I was saying yesterday so uh, I want to put it on then you can able to see uh, the time if the time for the grinder had really adjusted or it's at 3.60 as uh, yesterday then uh, we will able to see see it from from there even my coffee beans are uh, not yet filled uh, let's see so uh, ever since uh, morning when I came when I had uh, put my uh, machine on I'd put my grinder on it was still empty the time was uh, still 7.31 seconds I haven't even tampered with it but uh, bear in mind yesterday uh, when uh, I was doing my <coughs> my coffees and after sending my grinder it was at uh, 3.60 and it was giving me a grammage of uh, 20.5 grams that was my dose yesterday and it was consistent so remember today we want to learn uh, that uh, when we are pulling our dose we don't have to keep on measuring on the scale here and there here and there here and there we have to have actually uh, a perfect dose that will take us throughout the day uh, from our grinders so i haven't filled anything I haven't done anything in my grinders this is the thing so I'm going to fill my beans and then uh, I'm going to show you uh, what. So first thing I'm going to do, uh, these are my coffee beans that uh, remained yesterday. Like, uh, uh, it's water, it's not even full. So I want to put it in. 
uh, over here but remember uh, there's one thing that I need to put into consideration when uh, you are putting your beads in to get actually a consistent uh, dose throughout your, uh, your shift you need to maintain actually uh, the beans uh, needs to be actually not quarter not a uh, uh, little bit left uh, when you're actually doing your operations your beans need to actually be more than a half for you to get a consistency so if you have your beans over here uh, this much a quarter and you're in a running process of uh, uh, doing operations you will not be getting the right uh, dosage you'll be pulling a dose it gives you sometimes 20 if you pull a dose sometimes it's giving you um, 19 uh, basically because of the velocity so the beans needs to be full so that you can have a nice pressure actually so that uh, when we are doing our dose this uh, jar is not shaking because when it is shaking it means that the beans is actually low and it's not going to give you a consistent uh, dose so uh, uh, there you go so uh, my beans are my coffee jar is uh, full uh, with coffee, as you can able to see, so I haven't actually done uh, anything uh, for now. Uh, my dose is still 3.71. I haven't done anything to do with the calibration, so today I want to do it with you. But uh, not precisely calibration, but calibration in terms of uh, today I want to see how we can able to calibrate the grinder. <coughs> so my time is uh, 3.71 uh, seconds. This is the time that actually when I came in, the machine uh, the set itself uh, for this time. So, but the time that I was using uh, yesterday it was uh, 3.60 uh, throughout uh, the day, and it was giving me a, a dose of 20.5 grams. So, and I mentioned earlier that uh, we don't want a scenario whereby we are in a busy operations. Uh, you are pulling out uh, your dose, you are getting your your damages, then you get the orders. So it will be much more tedious. So we want a situation whereby we can able to set our grinders to give us specifically grammage uh, that we want uh, towards the field of machines. So uh, before I just do anything, I just want to be able to elaborate on something. I'm able to see. So I've full, I've seen a time of 3.71 seconds. I haven't done anything. But uh, before um, I always start uh, anything, I, I always decide on the dosage that I want to use. Like uh, yesterday, I was using 20.5 grams because uh, my beans is uh, a bit uh, a bit old uh, right now, uh, one month plus. So I have to give it a stronger dose uh, so that I can able to get the uh, the flavors. I can also be able to get the the tactile flavors in the in the coffee. So that's why I have to increase uh, the dose. So today uh, I want to do exactly uh, 20 grams, a little bit, because yesterday I felt 20.5 was a bit stronger. So today I want to do 20 grams uh, uh, in my uh, in my grinder today. So uh, first thing, I haven't done anything. So let's see what uh, 3.17, 3.71 seconds uh, is giving us. But this is a commercial. Uh, it's not a commercial. This is a digital grinder. We have two types of grinders. We have commercial grinder. At the same time, also we have the digital grinder. So this is a digital grinder, and mostly it is being used in uh, specialty coffee shops. As you can see, it is digital because actually I have to operate it uh, digitally. I have to press the buttons, you see, so that I can be able to make to make some 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 settings. So there's something which is called a dose. So a dose uh, in this digital uh, grinders, we have like a dose one, dose two, dose three. In scenarios, uh, in uh, coffee specialty shops, they don't use one specific type of beans. You might find that they are using uh, Brazilian beans or they are using a Colombian bean so that they can able to have different types of tests for, for their customers. So in most essential, you have, you have seen also, uh, I've been using uh, sometimes in my earlier coffee shop at Q Coffee Bar, I used to use uh, Colombian coffee uh, for the black uh, Americanos and espressos. Then I could use, which was uh, medium to dark roast. Then I could use uh, uh, Brazilian, uh, which was a uh, medium roast, specifically for white base. And I used to have like two grinders here and here. So one was specifically for uh, black, and another one was specifically for white base. But in essentia, this grinder. I can able to calibrate it in such a way whereby I'm using just one type of coffee beans, uh, which is uh, uh, Colombia, 
but I can calibrate it in such a way whereby I can use it for a coffee, a black coffee that is espresso and at the same time I can use it uh, for uh, coffees with the milk just in the same grinder so I have uh, digital numbers here one two three that we have over here so what I can do if I really want uh, today I want to set my grinder in such a way whereby I want coffees with the milk and also want coffees uh, black coffees like Americanos I'll use the dosage so I'll take like those one this is a dose one those one if I take those one it will gonna give me some seconds which I've not set so I can say today in my mind I want to use those one for Americanos then I want to use those two uh, for the white base so I'll take I'll press on one then I'll able to adjust and show you how to able to adjust the uh, uh, the timers for the right dose so I'll say one today is for black coffees then I'll able to set uh, one as in my primary uh, primary coffee uh, coffee dose for Americanos and uh, for the espressos I'll say maybe I'll give it uh, 21 grams with the uh, 44 ml so that's specifically specifically for uh, uh, dose one then in the same 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 grinder I'll go to dose two here and you can see the time has changed now from 3.71 to 3.47 but I haven't said anything these are just examples I'm giving so if I go to those two, I'll say this is my dose two. I want to use it for coffees with the milk. So I'll calibrate those two specifically for coffee with the milk. Then I'll give it maybe um, maybe I'll give it a, a dose of uh, 19 grams. So in my busy operations or doing my operations, this is what I'll do. If I have an order for an Americano or for an espresso, I'll go to those one. If I pull a shot from those one, it's gonna give me 21 grams. That's specifically for uh, espresso and Americanos. If I get an order for, for instance, for a latte or a cappuccino, I'll just press those two. If I pull a shot, it's gonna give me 19 grams. So that's how coffee specialty are able to operate. Doesn't mean that you have to have so many grinders, but you can use one grinder uh, to have uh, diverse uh, flavors for our customers depending on the coffee that they want. But today I just wanna show you how to get, specifically how to get um, the right dosage uh, throughout the throughout the shift. So I'm gonna go straight to those one. So I'll pull this dose uh, the way it is. I wanna pull it. We see uh, what it's going to give us. I mean, I just said anything, but I just want us to pull. Uh, we see what it's gonna give us. Uh, as you can able to see. Keep an eye on the system also as to As you can able to see, uh, my my. Uh, Charger is a fully uh, my scale is fully charged, so I'll able to uh, do this. I'm able to tear these are things that I've shown you. Uh, tear this one uh, to get a zero zero. Uh, make sure again it's zero zero. Then I want to pull this with these minutes. I mean these seconds. We see what is the dose here. So if I pull, the line is going. So let's see what uh, three point one seven. 3.71 seconds giving us. If I put it in my scale over here, so 3.171 uh, seconds is giving me 21.9 uh, as the dose, as the gramming. And this is too much. I really don't need this for uh, my operation today. As I said, I want to use uh, 20 grams. So what I'll do again, I'll go to my grinder here, I'm able to adjust the time. So as I told you, uh, these are practice, so the coffee I don't always throw. I'll uh, preserve it here uh, for washing my, my, my machine. So after doing that, uh, what I'll do again, I'll clean my water filter uh, nicely. This is a very interesting topic that uh, needs a lot of keenness. I put my water filter here. So I'll able to adjust my timer. I saw it was giving me like uh, 21 uh, grams with 3.71 seconds. So I'll have to adjust it now. So this is how I adjust the grinders. So you press one and okay simultaneously, like this. Stop. Then the grinder timer will start blinking, meaning that you can able to now adjust. If you see a plus and a minus, a plus meaning that you want to adjust the dosage. So a minus meaning that you want to reduce the dosage. So if I put a plus, I'll be adding more dosage. I don't want to add more dosage. So I want to reduce the dosage. So I'll go using a minus. So I'll put this one, this one, and okay. 
then if I press you can see it is going back so it was 3.17 I want to put it back to 3. Point, uh, keep on trying let's try 3.40 uh, seconds 3.40 seconds you see what is giving us 3.40 seconds just adjust 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 tap then you say okay so 3.40 seconds let's see if I pull my extraction uh, if I pull my doors let's see 3.40 seconds is going to give us what so I take it again uh, tell your uh, your scale it is zero zero uh, measure again it is zero zero so everything is okay so let's pull it 3.40 seconds we see how many is gonna give us So I've pulled and as you can see even the dosage has reduced. If I put it back here again, it's giving me 19.6 or 19.5 because if I level it, I turn it's going to give me 19.5. But now remember, I wanted a dose of 20 grams. So I'll keep on adjusting my grinder until I get that 20. So I'm not that far with it, so maybe I'll just add some, uh, some slight seconds. I'll put maybe this 3.40, so maybe I'll adjust it to 3.555, 3.55 seconds. It's gonna give me 20 or 20.2, 20.3 is not bad for for the variance, but this one is giving me 19.7. Again, I'm gonna preserve my coffee uh, over here. I won't throw it. I'll use it somewhere else. And also, uh, what we are doing is called dosing. You see, what I'm doing is called dosing and uh, through dosing it all it opens the grinds because when this uh, grinder is left overnight you see because of the coldness and yesterday it was giving me a gra it was giving me a dose of uh, maybe 20 grams if I come pull it to the same same time it won't give me so I need just to be keeping on uh, pulling the shots to open the grinds you know there's something is called extraction and compulsion so when it, during the coldness at night the grinds are intact so it was not working so the machine was not working so the grinds are like this but when i keep on pulling the doors i'm opening them i'm opening them up and when the sun is shining and uh, hitting the uh, the grinders indirectly the grinds actually automatically open so that's the thing that you need to know so i've done uh, that one so i'll adjust my time now again just press on one because i'm missing doors one so today i'm using a uh, colombian piece so i'll press over here uh, over here again but I'll adjust it to 55. Uh, one, two, three, four. Go, 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 go. Up to reach 3.55. I've adjusted some few seconds. Then I say okay. So let's try this and able to see what is 3.55 giving us. I'll measure my uh, my scale again. Make sure it's in zero zero. Uh, always confirm like this one zero zero. Then now we pull a shot. With the three point. Uh, 3.55 we see so this is 3.55 put it on your scale you're able to see boom as you can see perfectly well it's giving me 20 grams or 20.2 with just a minimal grammage like uh, slightly grammage 20.2 is okay because when i'll be doing my my leveling i'll be doing my tamping it will come out when i'll be compressing it will come exactly 20 grams so this specifically how we get our dosage uh, using our digital grinders it's as simple as that one so uh, i'll able to tap this uh label to level let me level it let's level it you see in terms of uh, leveling i won't teach but uh, this is today we are on grinders i'll just uh, level it nicely and over here make sure that the chips are not there then i'll able to do a soft tamp then uh, i will do my tamping over here able to see so because I said my doors are only 20 so if I put it back on a scale it's giving me 20 so you see it's as simple as that so I uh, know back in my mind I know that uh, 3.55 uh, seconds is giving me a dose of 20 grams so all over the shift I don't have to struggle uh, actually having uh, to pull my shot and able to measure I've already set my grinder now so it's just a smooth flow so from here now I don't want to go into actually calibration testing testing of the coffee our topic today was about how to get a dose uh, on a grinder so I'll pour this again uh, down then we pull it we see if it's still giving us uh, 20 grams so uh, let's go I'll uh, do it back here again Uh, 
this is a Turia farm. If uh, actually our doors is set and we are ready to go, if, if uh, the grinder now is set to give us the, our doors of 20, always make sure that uh, you put your, uh, your potter filter on the scale. It is 0, 0. Again, I confirm it is 0, 0. So I want to pull again with 3.55 seconds. But in most cases, you might pull it, but it won't give you the exact 20 grams. Maybe it will give you 19.8, it will give you maybe 19.9, it will give you maybe 20.1 or 20.2. Because there's something called the grinds. The grinds haven't opened up. But uh, on a round of 3.55 should be giving us, in our shift, it should be giving us 20 grams. But let's pull and able to see. Pulled again. I haven't done anything. Uh, let me measure and able to see. So, uh, so you can able to see uh, over here, and this is what I wanted to, 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 uh, to talk about. Right now, again, 3.55. It has jumped to what? Uh, to 21 or 20.9. That's why it is dancing. But our damage, we want what is. Uh, we want, um, we want 20, 120 grams. So, what we'll do next, uh, we're able to troubleshoot uh, the grinder one more or uh, three more times. We pull a shot first, second, third. With the same same time, we see what exactly it is giving us until we get our 20, uh, 20 grams uh, that uh, we want to So still, this one I'll able to preserve it here. Some will say it's a, it's a waste of coffee, but uh, in coffee specialty, there's no waste of coffee. We, we get the right thing so that we can able to do. So I'll turn my scale. So I'll do first dose, second dose, and third dose with the same same time to see actually what's it is. So it's behaving that way because the grinds have been opened up. So if I measure again, you see now, Again, it's giving me 19.5. So, with the same same time, it, was, it gave me 20, it gave me 20.9, now it's giving me 19.4. So, that's the first dose. I'll pour it here, I'll do a three dosing. I'll put it back again, I'll measure, I'll confirm again, measure, zero, zero. Then, this is my second dose, I have to do three dosing. If I measure again, uh, from here, it's giving me 20.3. So it means that the grinds were not open. So you see it's coming down, coming down, coming down. So the grinds were intact. So they're opening up. So once you continue doing a dosing, 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 and the grinds are open up, you'll get a perfect dose. So I'm gonna, this is my second dose. I'm gonna put it back over here. Then I'll pull uh, my third dose, third and final. Then the fourth one that we'll do now, is for settling. So I'll uh, put back my scale again, it's zero, zero. I confirm again, zero, zero. Again, I pull my third, it's called three dosing. Don't always just start with the first dose, then you see it's 20, no, it don't give you. So I'll do it again. With the same, same time, 3.55. If I put it back again, it's giving me now 21, uh, 21.4. So it means that the dose I mean the grinds haven't opened up. The grinds haven't opened up. So if you see this way, it's building like this one. So it's a round off. So you can able to change the time again to three point uh, from five five five. Lower it a, a little bit down to three point uh, uh, three five or three point four zero. So I'll lower it to uh, three point. Uh, let me try three point three five. Three point three five. This is actually a challenge. Uh, that most bodies always get. So we're gonna do it with 3.35 seconds. Then we're gonna see uh, how it is going to give us. There we go. <coughs> I measured 3.35. So if I put it over here, it give me 19. So I'll adjust again to 3.45 but now when pulling the shots it means that the grinds are opening so at the last we'll able to get a perfect one so 
so I'll able to do it uh, 3.45 uh, then I'll leave it at that 3.45 again zero zero then uh, I pull the shot again it's not that easy uh, to come up with this one so if I measure now it's giving it's giving me 20 so the my first shot I mean the shot that we we, we, we settled on 20 it was 3.55 it was giving us 20 then we continue pulling our shots, pulling our shots, pulling our shots, and we had some huge variances, 21, 19.5. So this means that the grind had actually haven't opened up. They were intact. The uh, grinder had slept overnight, so the machine was not working. So the grinds are like this. So you need to keep on pulling on the shots so that they can open up. And once they open up, and uh, now they are working, so uh, you're able to get a nice dose uh, consistently so that's why you need to keep on pulling on the shots uh, here and there so we have 3.45 now i hope uh, you have uh, learned something from this and also uh, through pulling uh, through pulling the the, uh, the shots it also gives you a, a scenario whereby you can able to feel uh, your coffees like my coffee right now i can feel it even from the uh, from my palm you see it is uh, not coarse it is not very fine, it is medium to cost. So it's going to give me a very nice flow uh, for the coffees. So today I won't do any pulls, I won't do any, any, any shots, I don't do any cappuccinos, anything today, or on the grinders. I hope you have learned something. Uh, if you have questions, please uh, don't uh, hesitate to uh, able to ask them in my Facebook page. And also don't forget to subscribe, and like, and share. Arius, it was nice having you. Have a good day. Thank you.